Hi everyone, welcome back to Small Fry Creations. Today I'm going to show you how you can take two sawhorses and a pine laminated sheet and turn them into a dining table. I had a friend that wanted a cheap dining table and it had to be easy to transport, so using sawhorses as legs felt like a no-brainer. The total cost for this project also is about 150 bucks. So for this project I headed to Bunnings and I picked up some sawhorses for legs. I also picked up a laminated pine panel as the tabletop and a 2x4 which we're going to use to raise the table to the right height. I headed back to the workshop and got to work. Now my first task was to take apart the sawhorse so I could make changes. The timber on top of the sawhorse is 900 wide which is the same width as the table but to make it comfortable to sit at I cut 50mm off each end to bring the legs in a little. Now of course you could have just left the saw horse together and used a circular saw or a hand saw to make these cuts but I decided to go with the mitre saw. Now you want to make sure that you take the 50mm off each end so that when you put everything back together the legs don't come out wonky. I could then just put the saw horses back together and double check my measurements and then cut the 2x4 to length to sit on top. I'll also just mention here that the 2x4 that I am using is 90mm wide by 45mm thick. Adding this 2x4 raises the table to a comfortable height for most dining chairs. With my timber cut I surveyed the tabletop to pick the best side. I then laid the tabletop down so that I could add the legs. I measured 400mm in each side which is what the legs would be set in by. I used my set square and my framing square and laid down some marks so that I could get ready to screw my first board into place. I used a forced bit to countersink the screws and I made sure when drilling the holes to alternate the placement. This will make more sense in the next step but it will prevent the screws from hitting each other. Using my framing square and set square, I placed my 2x4 and screwed it into place. I haven't used any glue on these legs as this table will be moving from house to house and may need to change design in the future. Once the first board was down, I could lay the sawhorse down next to it and mark where the next screw holes needed to be. It was then just a matter of countersinking the screws and screwing the sawhorse into place. Now this is a prime example of how not to flip a table. This was very heavy and I was on my own, but I didn't want to wait for someone to come home, so I just went for it. I grabbed my shop stool and a great podcast and settled in for some sanding and finishing. I sanded the tabletop up to 220 grit and finished the top with Cabot Satin Clear. It was then time to fold up the table and deliver it to its first new home. Thank you for watching guys and I hope you like this video. If you do, help me out by hitting those subscribe and like buttons and I'll see you on the next one.